<laughs> Parents from Lincoln Heights Elementary School haven't been laughing much in the 24 hours since Charlotte Mecklenburg school officials stunned not just parents, but also Lincoln Heights principal and several school board members with the proposal to shut down Lincoln Heights next year. But what had them chuckling with disbelief at this breakout session at the government center was a question from a school system planner. Did they see anything positive in the Lincoln Heights proposal? Come on, quit undermining, quit undercutting us. I don't think that the school board looks out for our kids. You already know what you're going to do, and you call yourself listening and putting the stuff down. They already know what they're going to do, so why are we here? The anger and the feeling that the die had already been cast followed them downstairs a few minutes later to a community meeting with other West Charlotte parents whose schools could be closed under the school system's plan. We are tired of your picking on Lincoln Heights. Just do the right things for all children. Why can't you all leave us alone? You look around here, there's division. You know, if you're divided, you fall. After about an hour of overwhelmingly negative feedback, school board chairman Eric Davis called time. Well, we're, uh, we're at the end of our hour, and I appreciate uh, everyone who spoke and attended this evening, and my apologies for not being able to get... I'm sorry, it, it's past 8 o'clock. Would give everyone a chance to speak. But... A decision that lit a fuse and caused an explosion of emotion that Charlotte rarely sees at public meetings. Leading the charge, the Reverend Kojo Nantambu, head of the Charlotte Mecklenburg NAACP. After about three minutes of this chanting, Bud Sassina, the school system's police chief, sent his team of officers into the aisles, flanked by government center security staff. Ladies and gentlemen, you've caused enough disruption. Please leave the building. Please leave the building. Ladies and gentlemen. But Nantambu wasn't budging. After several now. warnings from Sasina, Nantambu was put in handcuffs and led into a side hallway. At the other side of the government center chambers, Hans Plotzenator, a teacher at West Mech High School, also made it clear he wasn't leaving and he too was arrested. Ladies and gentlemen, we're clearing the building. But clearing the chamber merely transferred the anger into the lobby where some parents were already calling for an intervention from Al Sharpton. By this time, Charlotte Mecklenburg police cruisers filled the circle in front of the government center. Folks, you're going to have to stay calm and rational. Okay, my job here is to maintain the peace, and that's what I have to do. I've already got two people under arrest. Well, what? I don't want it. It doesn't matter. Nantambu and Plotzenator were charged with second-degree trespassing and released on $500 bond. Chris Miller, WBT News.